Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be back on Fishing Planet and we are going to be doing a three day fishing adventure on New York. We're going after the Emerald Lake which has got the walleye in and we're going to make ourselves a bit of money as I'm running out of a bit of money. So let's have a look. We click on it. So in cool overcast weather, non-predatory fish are less active. Perfect time to get your uh, your pike and predatory fish and tackle. These monsters are active all day round. So night is roughly about nine all the way to about midnight. So we're going to get straight back into the game and it's chucking it down. But here we go. We're going to go up to 9 p.m. Forward time. Now, my gear that I am running. Oh, no, let's not do that. Cancel that. So the gear I'm running is a bass caster 7.10, 7 foot. Lure weight is half pound by uh, 5 and 8, 8 ounce. Line weight is 9 to 24 pound, nothing major on it. It's uh, mono, uh, 14. So uh, my reel is a Vortex 5000. You can check all that stuff there. And there we go. Crankbait 3 foot, nighttime one, which by the way is actually dropped in price, I do believe now, which is 4K. You can buy that. Uh, egg series, Promotious, because I brought a load of stuff. And of course, Fishing Castle Trip Double uh, XL. All right, let's uh, get out and see what we can see. I can see a lot because I've got my little shiny. That's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Just a bit of stop and go. Nothing, mate. Let's see if we can bring that up a bit. Let's see if we can't get ourselves some more light. I say that, and we probably won't get anything. No, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything on the first thrust. Let's put them in between there, right at that big maple back there. And as you can see, there's plenty of other people out on boats and stuff like that. Now, Fishing Planet, in my opinion, is probably one of the better... Um, fishing simulators out there now there is quite a few out there i'm gonna put up the free speed there we go bring it down and in my opinion fishing planet is by far the better one it's very simple to uh use it's very easy um oh he's put himself into a wall over there be good if we could get ourselves into it wouldn't it I don't know if the crankbait works on this. Is the crankbait work on here or is it the spoons? I can't remember. We'll switch over to the spoons in just a minute. Um, but yeah, I I feel that... Like, there's a lot of them. But as for gameplay, I feel this is the better one. There are other games out there you can try, obviously. But this one is free to play. And you can actually earn a lot of money by looking at the guides. You can check out my other videos that I've put on, on this as well. This is where I should do a time cut. Six years later, still no... Right, okay, so we're not getting anything on the crankbait. Let's put oh, one of the... Uh, I think it was a... Wasn't it a casting spoon? Narrow spoon? Night punt. We're going to go with the nighttime tackle. It's optimal. Let's see if we can't get ourselves something on the narrow spoon. I think I can put it right out there. I think it's narrow spoons that they like. Or was it crankbait? I can't remember what it was. Crankbait or this? We'll see. Yeah, we can get, get ourselves some stop and go action. I think we're going to go with three. It's easier. Up. There we go. Straight away. There we go. So it is the narrow spoons. I can't remember what it was. Was it the. There we go. Is it. Is this a walleye? Or is it a pike? No, it's definitely a walleye. That's a small walleye. There we go. Not bad for the first one. It's about a two pounder. Oh, three point two pounder. We'll keep that. Now, walleye. Of course, you've seen all the videos out there. There's absolutely tons on how to make money all the way through this game. From here, you start off at bass hunting at the uh, first lake, which is Texas, and then you make enough money to come here, and then you fill a bag or two. You do a three day expedition here, and you move on from there. Me, personally, this is one I've spent many hours here. Um, I've had a very successful run on the walleye here, uh, to the point where I've managed to get four point something pound or whatever it was. I don't know, is there a, I can't remember if there's a way 
Oh, there we go. I can't remember if there's a way to check um, your highest caught fish here on the lake. That's another little 3.5 pounder. And as you can see, it's best money per pound. Not bad at all. Uh, we're going to go over here a bit. <clears throat> and we will go out on the boat later. But of course, we're going to keep our videos as short as possible. This is just catching walleye at New York Emerald Lake. On the drop. Are we going to get anything on the drop? Are we going to get anything on the drop? No? Okay, then. Now, those of you who are new to the channel and like, well, Jay, you're playing fishing, not type of the esports that I'm used to seeing you play. This channel won't have esports content on it. It might have esports games on it, but it will not have esports commentary or me talking about uh, esports content or tournaments or anything on it. This is purely a, a different channel. This is for me to have, you know, put my videos on and enjoy it. All right, nothing out there. Let's go back out to this tree. I'm going to go to this one here. And hopefully we get something. Now, there is a... I think it's called a Saga. Is it a, a Sega? Saga? There's a um, new a type of fish in here. It's, it's eluded me. And you can actually get unique ones of them. And this one has indefinitely eluded me massively. I have not managed to... Uh, catch and a unique i've caught loads of them which is by the way we'll go over there in a, just a moment if i can remember what it is to am i gonna get anything here fishy 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 <laughs> nothing okay then don't know if we're getting anything just yet Mind you, I've had fish that come all the way to, like, literally here and follow the bait all the way up. It's been absolutely incredible to watch that. Now, we're going to release um, about one or two videos a week on this channel. I don't want to be crazy uh, by releasing, like, untold videos or anything like that. I feel like one or two is uh, sufficient. Uh, again, I don't do this to make money on YouTube or anything like that. Um, there will not be a Patreon or anything. But if I do manage to get monetized videos on this channel, which I have to have a thousand subscribers, which I don't think this channel will ever reach. But if you want to subscribe to this channel, please do. And remember, if you want to catch up with this uh, channel to see when uh, we go live or we put out a new video, you got to hit that little bell to make sure you get um, notifications. And there we go. A nice little wall iron there. You can see him. Oh, it's a nice one. It's going to be another three pounder. There we go. Boink. And now a spoon doer. Oh, 4.6 trophy walleye. Look at that. Not quite my record. Otherwise, it would say new record. But nonetheless, that there was an amazing fish. That's actually a very big fish for here. It's a very big fish indeed. There we go. Put it straight back out. Now, I'll, I'll show you the depth if you look up the just underneath the uh, where it says narrow spoon three quarter ounce. There is where I start reeling in. When it gets down to there, three quarter of the way, stop and go is all I do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let it drop. One, two, three. Let it drop. One, two, three. Let it drop. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Stop and go seems to be one of the best methods here on this lake, on Emerald Lake for walleye, that I found. Again, now, apparently, you can catch walleye on bait. Now, we're going to try that. Oh, there we go. Straight away at 30 feet. That's going to be a nice little baby one. There we go. But like I said, stop and go is definitely the way to go. 2.8. We'll keep that. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and give it a go. Let's go back onto this. Now, leeches, apparently. Let's go up to 70. I don't know if that's right, but we'll go back to map. There we go. We're going to tap that. And let's see. Right. If we can catch anything with leeches. Now, apparently, leeches are the bait for walleye here on Emerald Lake. I don't know. Not really done it myself, but we shall see. And I've gone miles out there, so I'm 128 feet out. Let's see if we get anything. Not likely. But anyway, guys, remember, um, you this game is on Steam. Totally free. 
Oh, uh, no, I think you have to buy it. Was it free? I can't remember. Fishing Planet free, or do you have to... I don't know. I might, it might be free. I can't remember. Uh, but check it out. It's Fishing Planet on Steam, and I do believe it is free, actually. Uh, don't mark my words on that, but I do believe it is free. So if you want to check that out, please do. And of course, if you want to subscribe to this channel to see more of this content, please do. And remember to like this video so I know that you guys are enjoying this content. If I don't get many likes, then we'll start trying to change things up and put out some different content. But until then, I will be doing a couple more videos on Fishing Planet. Some of my other videos got a couple hundred views, so I'm quite happy with that. That was over like three months though, so yeah, that's good enough for me. Nothing there. Let's bring it back into about 100. Oh, 98 then. Because apparently I can't count, you know. See, we're at night time again, but it's leeches, and I'm like, is the depth right? So I'm not actually 100% sure on the depth here, because uh, I've usually only ever done lure uh, fishing here at Fair Walleye. Never done any bait catching. Not even in peak. Not even a peak. I'll tell you what. I think we'll go back to lure fishing. See, people say you can catch um, walleye on this. To me, I just don't like it. I feel it's not something I want to do, and it's not something I actually like. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna go back to that. I feel that's the best case scenario. And it gave us fish, so you know. Cast all the way out there, and we'll do one more walleye. And to finish the video off, we're going to go after some sagas. So again, there it is. As it reaches the three quarter way, pull up, get the stop and go going. There it is. Let up a bit, let it drop. <clears throat> so yeah. I think the highest I've hauled was a 4.8 here. I think so. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But I know the 4.6 we just got earlier, which is 4.68, was actually quite good for this lake. It's very good for this lake, in fact. Come on. The reason it's getting to 28, am I going to lower my rod to see if I can get anything? No, okay then. Uh, reel it in. And we're going to go back to this uh, maple. No, it's not as maple. It's a willow, isn't it? It's a willow, yes. Weeping willow. As that junks out. Now, I am using the narrow spoon uh, nighttime, as is indicated by the um, nighttime symbol on the top right hand corner of the screen. That's how you tell which one's night and which one's for day. One, two, three. Come on, give me another walleye. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I'm an idiot. I missed it. Oh, that's disappointing. I hate doing that. Oh, but there we go. It chased it. There we go. So it's going to be a nice little one. This is another small one. Another two pounder, something like that. No, 3.2. That's yeah, good enough. We'll keep that. Right, so uh, let's go back into the map, and we're going to go fish species. Right, we're going to drag it all the way down, and this right here is what we're going to be going after. Unique trophies. So small minnows, leeches, worms, grubs, and narrow spoons. So we're going to keep what we've got, and we're going to come over here. And why can't I get in my boat? There we go. There we go. Right, we're going to take the boat over here. I'm going to put a bit of speed on it. There's someone's line there. Whoops, sorry, dude. And another person's line. No, you're sorry. You guys aren't tackling the fish. It's totally fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to come over here to where this rock is. So what we do, or what I do, rather, is I come out. You can fish across this little bank along here where the reeds are to the left side over there where my light is shining. And you see this bit here? With I think there's some person there with a light, but the graphics have all bugged out. Maybe? Or is it just an alien? Is it an alien? It's an alien, isn't it? So, I'm going to drop anchor. Get it in. Okay. Oh, we already got the thing. And we've got the same rod and reel set up. 
And we're going to just along there. And we're going to just continue it going. Now, s sorgers aren't that much different to the walleye in the way they react. So you'll know when you've got one. Knowing our luck, we'll probably get sorgers, uh, not sorgers here, but we'll get walleye here more than what we were getting over there. Come on. Oh, there we go, straight away. Now, is this going to be a sorger? It looks like this could be a sorger. It's pulling, it's pulling. It is a sorger straight off the bat. Look at that. There we go. Uh, new personal record, 2.1 pound. There we go. Now, like I said before, they're not really good for money, but... Um, as you can, there we go, get a nice picture of that. Okay, right, we're going to go put that in the keep net. So we're up to 20 pounds. I'm going to come out there. Now, there is unique. Now, I'm not sure what the unique is. I'm not going to lie. I, I am not 100% sure what the unique sorger is. Now, that wasn't even, that was my personal best at 2.1. I've never had anything higher than that. But I'm happy that I got a personal best, so. Um... I think it's it's got to be about three four pound or that that might be trophy, but who knows? <clears throat> Just doing a stop and go. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything else, does it? No. Okay. Oh, and that was what I was explaining earlier. That's what happened before. And like I said, they follow you all the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got this bit of a cough I can't seem to get rid of. I don't know what it is with me. I always get ill. But anyway, narrow spoon, night time. I remember nine between 9 and 12 p.m. is the best time to fish for walleye and sorga. Predatory fish. So we're going to stop and go just off the bottom. And we're sorga fishing here. Did it get it, it did it go? It did. I don't know what it is, but it's not very big. Just gotta get it in. Is it a sorger? It is a sorger. This is probably being a little bit smaller. Yeah, two point one one. And my last one was two point one four. So we're not yeah. We'll get in there. It, hello. What in the heck? Everybody else saw that. I'm going to have to look at that on the video because that freaked me out. I'm not going to lie. That freaked me out. Like, I knew there was a, you know, is that a GM, like, messing around or something? I don't know. But that is somewhat creepy. Now, I, I, now I know I just saw a figure there. Totally creepy. Not going to lie. Totally creepy. And this part of the lake where I am in now, have you noticed I've moved my rod in direct angle towards the rock. So it pulls the opposite way. We're going to try for something there. Come on. I'm not going to lie, that light's really off-putting. I keep catching it every time I check my... Um, oh, I missed it. There it was. I did that again. Can we be lucky? Oh, I got snagged on something there. Didn't know there was a snag there. Oh, there was a fish there as well. I'll tell you what, we're going to press R, press Z, anchor up, and we're going to get out of this, because I want to, I think, let's get past this light, and let's, let's just bring it right about here. We're going to fish right off the, off the, uh, there we go, anchor down. We're going to fish right off the edge here. <clears throat> so I know they're here, we've obviously, we just caught a personal best. We're going to go a little bit further across. I'm going to let it drop down. Now, this is fairly deep. Um, yeah, it's fairly deep over there. And, of course, we've got to bring out my rods just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to come to the right a little bit. Oh, there we go. Mm, this isn't a very big one at all. In fact, this is a very small one. But it's still a sorghum, nonetheless. Doink, 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 doink. There it is. Boom. Uh, 1.5. In fact, they're getting smaller here, people. <laughs> I wonder if we could actually go out here for sorghum. 
I knew I, I knew that these were, were like predatory fish that like to be caught near rock faces or breed beds. But let's see if we can't get it out of here. Now this looks the deepest part of the lake here. Well, out there where those rocks are out there, you can catch sorghum there. Haven't had that much success there. But nonetheless, I have had some there. There we go. Stop and go. There we go. Boom. Is this a sorghum or is this walleye? This feels like another sorghum. Yeah, it's another sorghum. It's a little bun. 1.8. There we go. We're getting better. But can I turn all the way? No, I can't. I thought I could turn all the way around, but guess not. We're going to fish between there and the the piece of wood. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a good solid two pound fish. <coughs> Excuse me. As it drops into the abyss. There we go. And up. And down. Up. And down. One, two, three. And a drop. One, two, three. Just a simple swap and go method. Nothing fancy. And hopefully, we'll get another sorghum. They say hopefully. Come on. No, I don't look like we're getting anything on this cast. Sadly. I'm not going to lie, that's a little bit sad. I'll just hover it there. <laughs> so the snag is still there. Let's go out here a bit. I'm determined to get another sorghum, guys. As it drops again. Come on. There we go. Right, up and down. Come on. Time is now 10.20, so we're in the peak time. <clears throat> we're in deep water now, when we're 50 feet out. There we go, lift up a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh! This thing jumped out at us. Is it a two-pounder? It is a two-pounder. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do... Is we're going to just back up a bit. And I think... There's the light again. The alien. Yeah, he's an alien. It's definitely an alien. Oh, it's following us. We're going to get abducted. Alright, so we're going to turn... So this is a bank here. Where these reeds are, I want to try and fish... Let's get into the corner over here. Let's get in the corner over here. I'm going to turn the boat around. And we'll see if we can't pick up some walleye or sorghum here. Or perhaps even a pike. Because <clears throat> we've got a nice little in cove here. Right, there we go. Let's turn it around. Right here we'll do. Uh, anchor down. And we're going to fish right along here. Let's see what we can get. I've Now, I don't fish along here, but this is what always... If you look at the water now, just there, you'll always see this here. And I don't know what to make of it. And I'm like, is there fish here? I've had... I had a walleye here once. But that was fishing from the other side to here. So, who knows? Maybe we'll get something. Maybe we won't. I'm hoping we do. <coughs> Doesn't look like it. As you can see, that, what is that? That is mind-boggling. I'm going to go all the way out. Let's go all the way out and see if we can't entice something to come by our bait our lure as it drops out really weird and it's really as you can see it's really um it's really shallow so you'll see the lure go up and down really quick and then when it starts to bobble like that you know you're into deeper water so as you bring it up bring it down bring it up bring it down just a stop and go nothing fancy 
And God, I hope I get something, because... It, it, it's, it's one of those parts of the lake that are really curious to me, because I'm like... I always see fish jumping and stuff here, but I've never caught anything. Other than, no, I caught one walleye, like I said earlier, but that was, like I said, I was over there fishing. And look, right in front of us, look, right in front of us. How crazy is that? Come on. I'm just gapping it now, up and down, up and up and down. Nope. So, okay. Anchor? Could you? Why is my anchor button not working? There we go. I was going to say, why is the anchor not coming up? All right, let's... This should be a paddle lily. Do you see the paddle lilies? We're going to try from here. Anchor down. Let's go. We're going to try out near the uh, lilies. Let's see if we can't get ourselves up in there. Put it out there. Like I said, the other route we just tried, I really want to... I'm determined to catch something. I really am determined to catch something. But we shall see. Right, uh, we're going to lower the line tension. There we go, up and down. Let's see if we can't get ourselves something. <clears throat> it's pretty deep water there. So hopefully something will come and say, ooh, dindins. And that's the tension on the stop and go, as you can see, because of the water and the depth. Those three z uh, uh, white dots, you see. Come on. We're just not getting any luck now, are we? Doesn't look like it. Let's go right past the lily pads. I'm going to bring it through the lily pads. That's totally fine. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> as long as it doesn't snag, we should be okay. It's 120 feet out. And there it is. Let's get the stop and go going. <clears throat> it's in deeper water now, look. Lots of drag. Just up and down. Stop and go. And as you can see, it starts getting faster as they get into the shallower water. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything, though. That's a shame. So I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We're going to go back over there. Where we were... Oh, let's get the uh, anchor up. And we'll shoot along here. See if we can't get ourselves another s sorga, saga, sorga. Past the alien UFO dude. And we're going to just zoom in just here. And I think if we turn it just a bit right... Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Well, let's see what we can do. Bring it all the way up there. Put it out there, and we'll bring it all the way back. <clears throat> this isn't really a how-to guide or anything. This is me just showing you what I like to do and stuff like that. And if you take away something from this video, that's absolutely awesome. I'm happy that you have. Um, but by this time in this game, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what they're doing now. <clears throat> Ooh, so I've got to remember there's a snag around here. There's that person's line. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. If, maybe he's fishing off the rock. Who knows? Oh. Oh, I got all excited. Look. I got all excited and I got tangled up. I knew there was a thing there, but... Never usually sure where it is. So let it drop. I want to end the video on a fish. Come on. No, doesn't look like it. I said the last throw about 20 minutes ago in the video. Totally fine. <laughs> right. Come on, Saugus. Where are you? Drop it up. Fishy, 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 fishy. Come on, where are you? Oh, 
Looks like we've just run out of luck, guys. I mean, we're not really catching anything. Which is a shame. Uh, you know what? Let's... Well, no, that was a fail cast. Ignore that. We're going to put it out there. Just put it all the way out. And hope for the very best. Please actually go in the war. Did that go in the war? It did. There we go. <clears throat> right, this will be our last cast, guys. He says. Come on. I know they're out there. I want to end a video on a fish. But hopefully. And like I said, Sorgas aren't actually hard to catch. You just got to find where they are. They move. I know there's, there's free spots you can find in there. But this is the better spot for them. You hear that bird in the background. Come on. I'm 28 feet. No, I'm not going to get fish on my last cast. No. Right. Anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I have been GGJ. Again, there is my inventory. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the details you need for everything for catching walleye and ba uh, sorry, Sorga here on Emerald Lake in New York. Again, if you like this video and you took anything away from it, make sure you leave a comment below because it really does encourage me and help me make new videos. And if you like it, hit the subscribe button, of course. Hit the like button if you did like this video. And of course, if you want to know when I put new content out, which will be twice a week, please hit the uh, notification little jingle bell and it will notify you when I do so. Until then, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.